Hey folks, it's Gopher back once again with a bit of a tutorial video. I've been asked recently about the thumbnails that I make for the channels. And could I go and uh, have a quick run through of how I put these together? Uh, simply enough, hopefully. Um, 1920, 1080, typical screen size. And usually I start off, I mean, there's an example right there. And for something like this, I usually take the game that's the videos for, such as for the example we'll use Rocket League. I'll just find uh, some random uh, wallpaper and what I typically do is about here. I usually cut a window but instead of just being square what we'll do is I'll stick a bit of a radius on it, um, curl of the corners feather it a bit so you've got this smoother edged gap as it were so okay that and we just simply cut out a window and then what I usually do is get so let's say we've got our Rocket League video here usually typically grab some sort of interesting frame. I mean, that'll do. We'll just save off an image. You can screen grab it if you wish. That should be in my working folder. There it is. I'll drag that, pop that in, and we'll put it underneath. So, I'll just make that larger for the window. You can see I should define those edges a bit better. But you get the gist of it, you got the, the game border with the game showing through. And um, what we can do maybe is uh, image. I'll just. Uh, Darken that down a bit just to give it a bit more definition. And nextly, I usually pick up a logo. And I've got one here already somewhere to go. There we go. So, at a glance, people can see what game it is you're playing. We'll pop that up in the top corner. And what I typically do is we just get the shape tool, white bar, and just something along the lines of that. We fill with white, and typically we've hit an outline of, no, not fill, and give it the strokes black and uh, maybe he's pumped them up a bit wider so we got like a black bar just over the top but it's a bit bland so I'll bring, I'll bring it down a bit more the transparency just uh, so we just got some sort of definition coming through probably even drop that to like 40 Again, it's all just down to personal preference. And the next thing I usually do is throw in some text. So we've got uh, Rocket League and some like goal compilation. You can do this however you feel. Again, it's all down to just personal preference. We go over to the characters. Let's make them um, a bit bigger. We'll put the spacing on auto. Um, 130, yeah, just a little bit too big, so we could back to about 120, in fact, can we make our own spacing, there we go, and typically just again to break it up a little bit rather than just having the solid block text, I'm just going to add 
and have to stroke, but change the color to white. Or well, you can do it the other way around. You could have a black outline. And we're gonna have a text layer selected. And we change the color of the text to white. Just again, the black outline gives it some definition, makes it a little bit easier to read. And just to add an extra little bit of flair, we'll bring in something like the octane here. We'll flip it around. Rasterize that a second. And we'll just pop that in just over the side there. And that's more or less basically it. We've got a sort of border which brings the colours of the game. People who obviously play the game a lot will sort of recognise the colours at just a, a quick glance. We've got usually a screenshot of the game on display in the middle. And the game logo, so once again it's very easy to realise what you're going to click on and watch. And uh, if you keep the text file as a text file, you can jump back into Photoshop. And you can just simply snow day goals, you know. Change the text, resave it again, and you've got your thumbnail picture. And all you do is just add that to the upload, as you upload the videos to uh, YouTube. And there we have it. Hope that was helpful. I shall be back with more tutorials. And I'll see you again next time.